So this framework can actually save lives. When paramedics arrive on site at a pedestrian collision, it's very complex, there are many variables, and what they require is more information. So our framework, what it can do is by taking a photo of the vehicle, there's a computer model that actually can reverse engineer this accident and then find out the vehicle speed, impact of the pedestrian on the structure, and by tapping this information into a database, we can create virtual CT scans of what's happening inside the body. And this type of information can be provided to the paramedics in real time in situ. And that provides new information that can be critical to save people's lives. I've worked in the ambulance service for the last 10 years as a paramedic. I've attended multiple uh, serious incidents, uh, including road traffic accidents. Those types of incidents can be incredibly emotional and the human factors that are at play can be quite catastrophic to the actual development and the triage of the patient it's seen. Having some way to be able to speed up this process um, and rule out any of those human factors would indeed improve patient outcomes and save lives. There's no question in my mind that this research, this framework will certainly improve the speed in which clinicians can triage injury patterns to be able to update hospitals so that they can prepare treatment packages and we can start early interventions and early treatment on scene so that these injuries don't cause life-changing scenarios, life-changing conditions.